I'm Lindsay McCoy, co-founder and CEO of Plain Products. We're on a mission to eliminate single-use plastic from the bathroom. Today, I'm gonna talk about five ingredients you want to make sure are not in your conditioner. But first, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Plain Products. If you're familiar with us, feel free to skip ahead. It'll take about a minute. If not, here's what Plain Products does. We offer personal care products in reusable, refillable aluminum bottles. Here's how it works. Come to the website, pick out shampoo, conditioner, body wash, body lotion, facial care, travel product. Shows up at your house with a pump, put the pump on. Then when you're low, order a refill bottle or subscribe and we'll send it automatically. When the refill arrives and you're ready, switch the pump over and then send us back the empty bottle with the free return label we supply. We get it, we drain it, we wash it, we sterilize it, we refill it we send it back out into the world. The great thing about aluminum, it is endlessly recyclable. These bottles never need to go into the waste stream. They can just keep going round and round, whereas plastic, even when it is recycled, which only unfortunately about 10% is, can only be recycled once or twice before it has to be thrown away. Today, we're gonna talk about five ingredients that you do not want in your conditioner. My personal background is actually in nonprofit management, not in personal care. I help start Plain Products to find a way to have less plastic in my bathroom and help others do the same. But what I didn't realize as we were starting this company was how many crazy chemicals are in your average shampoo and conditioner. So we worked very hard to make sure that none of those were in Plain Products, but I just want other people to know about them and please um, you know, check the backs of your bottles. And if these ingredients are in your products, consider switching to something else, whether it's Plain Products or something else, this is just not stuff that you wanna keep putting on your body. So I'm gonna tell you about these chemicals. We're gonna spell them out down below um, and you know, take a few minutes and look at the things that you're using in your house and consider making a choice. Here we go. Number one parabens. Sometimes you'll see these listed as methyl paraben, propyl paraben, or butyl paraben. Parabens are chemicals that are used as preservatives in products, primarily for their antibacterial and antifungal properties. But they can irritate the skin, causing things like dermatitis, rosacea, and other allergic reactions. And they can also cause dry, brittle, and dull hair because they tear apart the cuticle covering the hair shaft. The good thing, you don't need a product with parabens unless you want your shampoo to last for years. There are so many paraben-free products on the market now, it's easy to avoid them. Number two, palm oil. This is not inherently dangerous to you and your body, but it is something that's not great for the planet. Currently right now, there are huge plantations of palm oil that are taking up precious rainforest habitat in Southeast Asia and causing a lot of amazing species like orangutans to go extinct. So while palm oil is not inherently dangerous for you, um, avoiding it in products is a great thing for the planet. Number three, silicone. Common ingredient, Cyclomethicone, dimethicone, methicone, ammonodimethicone, dimethiconal, or cyclomethicone, cyclopentylsilaxone. I'm not sure if I'm saying that last one right, but silicones are synthetic polymers that help your hair repel water, making them an effective tool for taming frizz, locking in moisture, and adding shine. While they don't pose a health threat, they can build up in your hair, which makes it difficult to get real moisture into your hair. This can lead to brittle hair with a lot of frizz, making it especially bad for curly hair. Number four, isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is used in conditioners primarily for its drying effect and its ability to absorb other substances into hair follicles. It's an alcohol that evaporates quickly and is used in everything from hairsprays to cosmetics, but it shouldn't be. Isopropyl alcohol ends up leaving your hair dry and frizzy and can lead to negative health consequences like irritation and damage to the nervous, heart, and respiratory systems. Number five, triclosalin. 
Triclosalin is a synthetic microbial that's added to hair care products to reduce or prevent bacterial growth. It can disrupt your endocrine system and it's linked to an increased risk of breast cancer. Originally made for hospitals, it's gotten into a ton of products like shampoo, conditioner, soaps, body washes, toothpaste, kitchenware, toys, and even furniture and mattresses. It's classified as a skin and eye irritant and it's toxic to aquatic life. It's also one of the main things that's led to the rise of superbugs, viruses and bacteria that are now resistant to standard antimicrobials and antibacterials. The good news? The FDA recently banned triclosalin and other antibacterials, but not all consumer products have taken them out of their ingredients list yet. One other thing to look out for, synthetic fragrances. At some point, large companies convinced the FDA that they should not have to tell people what was in their fragrances because it was a trade secret called the chemicals that they um, created to make things smell amazing. Um, Actually, just a lot of chemicals. So you will see on all products just listed the word fragrance. At Plain Products, we only use essential oils to scent our products. So you know exactly what you were using. We do not use chemicals to make them smell good. But just beware of that phrase, fragrance. If a company's being transparent, they should tell you what's in their fragrance, but rarely do they. Here at Plain Products, all of our ingredients are plant-based. And in fact, our main ingredient is aloe, which is part of what makes them all so amazing. I mean, aloe is just this nutrient-dense, antioxidant miracle from nature. So when you see ingredients lists, the way that they're listed, the thing that's first is what's most in the product all the way to the least amount in the product. And the first ingredient in all of ours is aloe. If you check the back of your labels, usually you see water. Um, and they can do that because there's so many other chemicals <laughs> that help fill it out. And we don't need to do that because of that aloe base that we're using. The other thing about not using chemicals in your product means that our products are biodegradable. So when they wash down the drain, there aren't any toxic chemicals to further damage the environment. When our products wash down the drain, they biodegrade because they're naturally based. So all of our products are good for you and the planet. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see this or other plastic free tips or learn more about what we're doing, please like and subscribe and tell a friend. Thank you.